Okay, what's up? So, hopefully the audio is working decently good enough. Oh no! What is this? It's um, this is Batman, episode one, Realm of Shadows. City Hall, 8.32 p.m. Where's Bat? Is he in the heli? No, he's not in the heli. Why do I feel like something's gonna happen? Oh, damn! Damn, dude! Get it open. On it. These guys are not playing around, yo. Show, bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Move in. The hell? That's going quick. Move out the way. Move. Get out the way. Gordon. Get out the way. They're on the 52nd floor. I'm going in. Hey, wait. Wait for backup. Don't need it. Take the stairs. I heard stories, you know. This guy looks kind of old, though, doesn't he? The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Ah, oh, game time. Launch. <laughs> Oh, he heard that. We're swinging it. It's swinging. Oh, this is gonna be epic. Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. No one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're uh, shot out of the sky. I, I can, can handle it. it. Shit! The bat's really prepared for going? anything. Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Swift movement. Oh, you're, you're not finding me. You are not. How did he tie him up so quickly without making a sound? Somebody make this make sense to me. Uh, right trigger. Right trigger. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Yo, Bruce off. is too sick. Next one, it's gonna be gone. <laughs> uh. 
How heavy does that bat thing need to be in order for that to knock an assault rifle out of someone's hand? And how hard do you have to throw? I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Well said, Come Pat. Back. Come on! Come on! <laughs> Ooh. Ruthless. Ooh. Get out of here. You want some more of this? Give this guy a Mayweather uppercut. Nope. Dodge. Nope. Dodge. Up. Up. Back. Up. Block. Block. Up. Kazoom. Kablang. Oh, I nope. Dodging that. <laughs> Ooh! Mayweather of Mike Tyson Muhammad Ali Heck yow Oh no Let's go Heck I mean he tried Come on you're pouring to the principal's office. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Behind you, big boy. <laughs> Bad girl. I mean, cat woman. Payday. Uh, I'm gonna need that, ma'am. I'm gonna need that, ma'am. Too sorry, sir. You're my way, sir. Yeah, uh, I, I I need to get going, sir. Hold on, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, where are you going, ma'am? You need to pay for those. Come back. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on. Wow. She just went up that thing like at the speed, almost at the speed, not the speed of light. Oh, jeez, dip. Leave. Well, if you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. A performance bat. I think I think the real performer is Catwoman. Without a scratch. She has too so many far. tricks up her sleeve. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit. Tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. No one else no can do the job. Will. I'm the only one who gets the job done. Sounds lonely. Gotta admit it though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Who's? Don't you know not to corner a no. wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Oh! Bring it, Bat. This girl does not know who she's messing with right now. Like, I'm the bat. Fuck up. Mayweather, you right now. Woo! Nope. <laughs> I think you're nice, eh? I, I do this. And you only started because I started. We do this. Oh, no. Bang, bang. Flop. Flop. Crop top. Oh, what? The one time she gets to hit me is the time I don't get to react. Ooh, nice. Ooh, ooh, she got me. Ooh, hoo -hoo! It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. That looks a little bit unpro inappropriate, don't you think? Oh shit! What? The hell? Yo, the bat is a little too slick. I'm not gonna lie. Two of them now. 
Jesus! I got him! Wait, wait, wait! Do not shoot! Whoa! No. These go kind of... These are kind of quick, I'm not going to lie. Down, down it. Oh! Ooh, ooh. That was kind of hard on our chest there. Ooh, too slick, man. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. God you damn. shot him? No. Oh, he's getting right. suspended. He's losing his job. You shot the bat, you fool! Oh! Well, that wasn't really smart now, was it, Bat? He, he wanted to die? She would, she, would, she would have literally fell to her death. Ugh. Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Talk or I drop you, B. <laughs> Who put you up to this? Answer me or I let go. But you won't. You're not that kind of guy. Ah, crap. She caught on. She knows. She knows I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> oh, damn. This girl's too slick. Two swords. Ah, <laughs> oh, she took his weapon. Yeah, she's too slick. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. They never will be. Time to save the city. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. For too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to the Wayne Manor. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you, and you're a billionaire. And everyone, for your unwavering support. Oh. Together, we will change Gotham. I kind of get like this guy. I kind of get. Mr. Wayne, Weird vibes from thank this guy. you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just working the night shift. Yeah, well then you're pulling a double. 
No one came here tonight to see me. Some champagne. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. Okay, we'll oh, try. A little liquid courage before facing your adoring public? This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about uh, a new face for Gotham? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm going to use that. Bruce, <laughs> I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman, or whatever it's called. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. He's a Batman! Don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you, too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. This guy was right, yeah, he, he needs Bruce. I'm not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Some more drinks? Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, 
I'm eager to know you. Vicki Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Actually, I do. I want to. I, I want to find out. You're not here. Sorry. <sighs> we'll talk tomorrow then, Mr. Wayne. Uh, you've, damn. You've got something on your collar. Um, <laughs> is that blood? Yeah. It looks like. No, it's just wine. Spilled some wine. It, it'll come out. I'll stick to clear alcohols, Bruce. I never stain. <laughs> Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Oh, a crime dude? <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. At least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Okay, I'm I'm trusting you, Harvey. Maybe you can change your mind. We're, like we're trusting you, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously, you know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, I'll just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. Okay. All right, I'll play nice. You know, okay, I've okay, been okay. In the market for a new house, decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Let's let's talk privately. Talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Come okay. on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. His home? This is Bruce's home. You're a respectable Shake his man, hand. I hear. Sh Shake his hand. Bruce Wayne. Shake his hand. I know who you are. The guy is going to sell me his house. Gentlemen. Why is this guy... ...more comfortable in the parlor? Follow me, if you will. Yeah, this guy's gonna piss me off just a little bit now. Like, I wasn't being nice to this guy. <laughs> he'd be a, he'd you be a know, jerk. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple what Mayor Hill has... You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. I'll bring Bruce right. back to you soon. I'll talk with him we'll alone. Talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll uh I'll get a drink or something. I'll play nice, Harvey, don't worry about it. Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much. Chaps my face with words. Unlike oh, most shit. people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. Who does this guy think he is? I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. 
Or I can pull it out from under him. <sighs> I'm not going to be your little pawn. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. You guys trying to see if he runs me. If he owns me. That's not happening. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. For Gotham. For our city. I'm doing this for Harvey. I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You don't even know Listen, who I am. Kid, I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Yeah. Let that sink in. It's nice that we understand each other. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh, <laughs> I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce, while this city's oh. standing. Oh, this guy's not a nice guy like you. God, oh, man, but I did that for Harvey, so now I made Bruce look like he's weak. But I don't think I was only nice because I did it for Harvey. Yo, this guy, this guy thinks that he runs me now. This guy thinks that he owns me. That's not how this works. No. Nah, dude, this guy thinks that he runs me now. That's why I was doing all those things. Chalk my friggin' pull stick. Make it sharp. Do this, do that. This guy's just trying to see if he can control me. And I was only being nice for Harvey. It's you know good. what? I'm gonna do another scenario, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say no to everyone. I'm gonna piss this guy. I'm gonna piss this guy off. I'm gonna tell Harvey he can come straight in. <laughs> Harvey sticks with me. <laughs> I do everything. I'm pissing this guy off. I want to see what this guy's gonna say. Realm of Shadows. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in, with breaking and entering incidents up 40% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. Well, he still has the tickets from when his parents died. That's serious. He still has their tickets that they bought? For the movie? That's crazy. That's not crazy, but... Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Factory fire that will not end. Crews 
groups have given up trying to combat the blaze at the Otisburg Processing Center, owned by Ace Chemical. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it. They're recommending people avoid the area and seek immediate treatment if you happen to breathe in any of that tar black smoke. And one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. The body of Falcone family capo Louis Pistachio Garmoni was found hanging off the side of the 4th Street Bridge sometime just before dawn, causing traffic to back up for miles as the cops cut him down. Random stabbings are the latest headache. Nearly fell off a building for this? A little old data drive. multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been admitted to Gotham General in critical condition. The police don't have any suspects at the time. Ah, uh, the movie tickets. Two more patients have gone missing from Gotham feed. Bringing the total number of escapees from the half prison, half mental Can we put the drive into something? Gadgets on the table. Spare grapple. Can't believe I let her take that. Okay, back out. Oh, there we go. Got a port right there. Okay. This guy, this guy has a personal seat that comes out from the comes out from the ground. That's so important. Serious. <sighs> Encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. I like this cave. Computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house. You know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Rotate the hologram using the left, okay. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. I would have been tempted to be far less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> well, it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. 
you have to admit you've been drawing a lot of attention to yourself and not the playboy billionaire buys new yacht kind of attention. Yeah, I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out, Al. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. Okay, Alfred, you're right. You're right. You're right. I should have cancelled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Let's hope Har Harvey doesn't betray us. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Likewise. Well, as much as I enjoy having this one-sided conversation, even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. This is one heck of an opener. We 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 we, we run into Catwoman. We get disrespected in our own home. Trying to help a friend out. At the start, we battle a whole bunch of crime guys. Oh, is, is that our friend right there? Homeless man? Oh, let's give the guy some change, yeah. Here you go there, dude. Uh, thank you, sir. No problem, man. No problem, yo. Try to help out as much as we can. Damn, dude. I hate seeing homeless people, but yo, honestly, though, I gotta, I gotta keep it real, though. Like, like, not every homeless person deserves it, but, like, there are some that, like, you know, like, we all have self-destroying habits and shit, like, like, some of them actually do deserve that, as bad as it looks, like, you know, I was like, yo, I've given, like, 20, 40 oh, bucks right. in my past to, like, people, and then I literally... A statue, but no odds. I would literally turn around, like, the, the corner, not literally right away, but I'd see these people smoking, like, doing drugs and all that shit, you know what I mean, like... There was this one time I seen somebody actually take the take the money and buy food with it. That was cool, you know. Or it it sucks when you give someone money hoping you know you feel like yo they're gonna do something good yo they're gonna take that. It's not it's not fucking twenty thousand dollars, but shit, you know I can help them on their journey. And then next thing you know they're fucking they're they're, they're buying drugs. It's such a it's such a disappointment. Hey, beat it. Beat it? Okay. Do you know who you're talking to? This guy's Bruce Wayne, yo. 
A small conversation could have changed your life. You could have been a millionaire a year from now. Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. Oh, for real? Oh, wow. I'm dropping man. both of you. Go. Try and take it. Try and take it. The hell do you say? Let's go. And him. Bring it. Oh, I'm about to drop you. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh. holding the moment! Come here. Cool. Think that'll do? This guy's getting ruthless with it. Ooh. Stay down. Ooh. Calm down. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. This guy. Oh! This guy's not having a good day. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You got a little, uh. Yeah, good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? This guy seems. Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. On the edge. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were. Yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. This guy's going through stuff. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Still has Used blood on his the face. Circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce. I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Harvey. This is a Harvey. Right at home. That oily... <sighs> Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. No, 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 no. I only agreed to meet him because of Harvey. Beware of any man who smiles that much, Bruce. They're usually hiding a forked tongue. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are going to be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. 
before a revolution starts. We're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. And I can't wait right, to get started. Don't say started. anything. Don't say anything. Am I getting through to you, Bruce? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. I hope you're gonna be on the right side. Like I, 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 I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. I don't even know how. Like what? What? I don't even know what these guys are talking about. 100 percent of the, uh, what? Okay. It even looks like it even looks like the Batmobile. That's a nice car. Wait, wait, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Yep. Morning, Mr. Be nice for Bruce. Hey, Bruce. Can I make this look swap cars? Nice I mean, mine cold. isn't fast, and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And we're still those who do get out, or God forbid, escape. What's up, Alfred? Even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum Call? is a cancer on Gotham. But today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood sweat and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Oh, damn. I just want to answer. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? 
I don't know. Le le I say leave us standing. Leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better. This time we won't fail those who need us most. Are we all right. Who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne. Uh, you there, Mr. Wayne? Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even oh, shook damn. his hand. Harvey is the one who invited him. Bruce? Personally, I would never welcome that man into my home. Anyway, <laughs> That's the wrong one! Please, keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital. Oh, I'm not going to see that. But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? How dare you? How dare you? I just finished telling you about my parents' murder, and you accuse them of being, what, criminals? Have some decency. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? All right, this press conference is over. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? This is too much. Did you know this dip. This, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Oh, damn. The police are in there. Oh damn, let's hope they don't discover the bat cave. I better not discover the bat cave, damn dude. Hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill, in the rain, with skates on. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Need to be the Who authorized your taxes. This? Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's a mayor, mayor he Hill. the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Yeah, other than a Batman, Batmobile, and a Batman suit, and Batman gadgets, and a Batman cave and a whole bunch of secret shit.
I got a warrant to search my house. Ruth, stay back! Take whatever you want of it. You... you don't have to do this. I forgot who kills his, his, his parents. Was it a uh, Deadpool? I don't think it was Wolverine. Um, Bruce, I I didn't mean to interrupt, but uh, it's it's not a problem, really. Ah, oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. <laughs> really Wait. going for the record, huh? How does she get in? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. Oh, shit. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. You gotta help yourself out here, Mr. Wayne. Otherwise, people are gonna fill in the blanks and it won't be in your favor. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rail. Alfred, did you let her in? How does she, how does she, how does she get in? I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman. Is that Catwoman? Plenty of enemies, but my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this, on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Oh, let's hope Harvey is not a snake. Don't betray me, Harvey. I don't want to have to come for you. Don't do it, Harvey. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. You tell me. Shh. Come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. <laughs> Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill I hope you didn't. Hill me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. Okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? It just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? It has to be Falcone, but exactly I intend to find out. I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Oh, God, Do this. Mess. Harvey or Falcone are working Bruce, together? I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. 
If Harvey's innocent. If I had innocent. in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. Then I'll, I'll do go myself. alone. I've got plenty of resources to fight this. We're in a bind here, Bruce. I'll do whatever I can to help. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no. That's Catwoman. Glad you made it. She's dating Harvey? That's Catwoman. That's Catwoman. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just I think we've met. Nonsense. I think we've met before. You do look familiar. Everyone knows who Bruce Wayne is. Do they? Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh. Oh, no! <laughs> Selena's new to town. Yo, she, I've been showing she's her slick! Her <laughs> You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well... If I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. It could have been worse. Maybe it's time to find a new job. I don't need career advice from you, Mr. Wayne. Not all of us were born with trust funds and multi-billion dollar corporations. Hey, hey, go easy on Bruce. It's not his fault he was born rich and good-looking. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? Damn, yeah, Catwoman's dating Someone Harvey? My office has to know what's going on. Uh... Excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. You... Drop the shit. You know it's good. Just drop the shit, my girl. You know it's good. Just drop the shit. Talk. Let's talk. Your man is gone. Good. <laughs> drop the act. Nice to meet the real you. There we go. Likewise. Nice to meet the real you too, B. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor. The toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. What You're you with Harvey? Harvey? Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is... Personal. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. What? We'll expose you! I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was, thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. She really gonna threaten me by telling me that she's gonna, she's gonna tell Harvey that I'm Batman? Belongs to me. I'll tell Harvey I that you're Catwoman. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. Who, Who hired you? To break into the mayor's office. My clients prefer to remain confidential. They don't know who I am. I don't know who they are. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. 
If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, it looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. In fact, I spend most of my time avoiding them. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> nah. Not possible. <laughs> Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. You, you need to trust me. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat. Not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. But if he doesn't know who Catwoman is, Sorry, why, why is she kind of scared? So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Now, nah, Harvey, you guys do your thing. You take care of those cushions. And I'll, uh... <laughs> I'll make sure that your cushions have a long warranty. A long warranty on them. <laughs> like, if... I'm assuming that Falcone is the guy who's... Falcone is the guy who hired her. But I don't know... I don't, know, I don't understand why she's showing this level of fear. Oh, well, she looks chill. She's not really, like, fearful. But it's indirectly saying that she's kind of scared. Because she doesn't know what's... Like, they're gonna try and kill her. But how can they try and kill someone that they don't even... How can you kill someone when you don't know what they look like or who they are? Alfred, I, I'm at the I'm warehouse. Confused. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Falcone, maybe? Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Scorch? Marks? Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Nothing left to bury. Tag items tagged with that can be linked to related items to theorize connection. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. That look kind of, I look kind of nasty. White rose. Falcone's Is it Ivy? Calling card. Oh, Falcone. He's busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. There's his bodies everywhere. Face slashed, throat torn open. 
So, not natural causes then. Who could have done this? I'm trying to figure out who could have done this, but no one's coming to mind right now. Skyline Club. This man's been badly burned, but the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? A bullet that can burn the inside of a person's body? Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Damn, dude, this is so serious right now. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. They broke his nails too? A cop shredded this murk to pieces. Barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? I don't even know what these things were stored of, but... I'm kind of itching for a battle right now. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry is melted. Damn, okay, so then that connects to this guy who got shot in the head. That has to connect to this guy. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No. This guy was at our Based house. Based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop. The shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. And would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. What the heck is this thing? Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace.
What kind of gadgets this guy has? Oh, we 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 got a winner. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. I don't know how this guy runs with all this stuff. Like, I, I really don't know. Hmm. Killing time. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. I think he's gone. <laughs> Whoa! Dodge! My turn. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Belconi, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing! You, you can't make me talk! Punch him. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking now? I'm telling you, Jack. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. <laughs> no. It's true. That's they getting they ruthless you. now. You're a freaking animal. I'll make you talk. It takes to make you talk. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. <laughs> nah, I'm breaking ribs. <laughs> Tell me. The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Uh, someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We That's right, Falcone. Steal them, not ask questions. Oh, shit. I have no option. <laughs> no other option but to break this man's arm. <laughs> I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals. There's some kind of explosive. A weapon. I don't know. Balcone said he'd use them soon. Used where? That's all I know. Oh, Swear. damn. Swear. I told you everything I know. You're an animal. Uh, I don't think he did. I have to break it though. I have to break it still. Oh, Rachel! <laughs> I am evil. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. You're gonna need to call the coroner instead. It's Montoya. Send a cleanup unit to the doctor. Talk to Gordon or disappear. 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 I broke his bones. <laughs> I was wrong. I'm gonna need that ambulance too. The hell's going on tonight, Lieutenant? That man. You're taking this too far, Bruce. Ah, uh, damn, I should have backed out. He knew that I was being violent. But if I didn't, well, if I wasn't violent, would I have gotten the information that I needed? Keep that in mind. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. 
Look, I did what I, did what I had, had to do. To, but at what cost? We both know how this argument goes. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. I can't help it, Alfred. We're, we are You're Batman. A good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. Accept the tickets, don't tear them up. I won't forget. Neither will He's I. He's had us for such a long time. Why tear them up now? Well, back into the fray again. Looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... More than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Wow. Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. And it goes back years. This is an insurance policy. Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That would explain why he's never made a move against him. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. James Gordon or Vicky? Whoever could do the most good? Uh, who, who, who do I think could do the most good here? Um, well, Gordon, we give a bad impression on Gordon because we broke the guy's arm and we didn't really need to break the guy's arm. I thought the guy was going to give us more info, but he didn't give us more info. So now the guy just has a broken arm. <laughs> <laughs> James Gordon knows that we did it. So uh, I think we're just going to start off with Vicky Vale first. And because she's a reporter, right? Uh, we may not be able to get links with Gordon right now, but we're Batman. So we don't really need links at the moment. But with Vicky, we can get the word out here. And we have all this evidence. So you know what? I'm, I'm just going to go with Vicky. V Vicky's, Vicky's, the, v Vicky's the choice here. Vicky showed faith in me. She cares about the truth. She'll get the story out the way it needs to be told. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Vicky through the media, and Batman... By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. I think I think that's the episode. I think that's the episode. We're an hour and a half in already. There's no way this episode is going to be like two, three hours. This, this is big. You drop a bomb like this, th there's going to be fallout. 
that not even Falcone can survive. Why give it to me, then? You don't know how much I appreciate it, but you're a Wayne. You could have given it to anyone. I need an ally in the press. After handing me something like this? I'd say you got one for life. Falcone's slippery, but this is enough to hang him out to dry. Come on, Vicky, I'm trusting you. What do for the city? My career? I'm just wondering what the cost is going to be. It'll be worth it. I don't know, Bruce. Falcone doesn't like bad press. If I run this story, I put a price on my head. The next time my name appears in the media, it, God, it might be an obituary. Falcone has a way of handling reporters he doesn't like. Can you I play could be safe? putting myself in real danger by trying to expose him. Publish it anonymously. Anyone can do that. Accountability gives the media its teeth, and that's sorely lacking in Gotham these days. I always think, crime in the city, it's a hydra. You cut off one criminal's head. Three more appear in its place, I know. Unless we kill the beast once and for all. But who's even capable of that? The bat. Act fast, that void will be filled by someone far worse. What about the bat? Wouldn't be the first time. Batman's a symbol of hope, and that is better than any army. If Gotham can rally around him, right now he's just a monster of the week. It's a good thing you gave this to me instead of the police. Could end up buried in some evidence locker and not on every screen in Gotham where it belongs. Public attention. That's what brings down men like Falcone. Not a bullet. Though after my story runs, he might get that too. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. I'll be seeing you, Vicky. You do your thing now. Stay safe. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. That was the Batmobile? It was a friggin' Batmobile. Yeah. That's sick. This guy knows how to drift? Okay, well, hold on. It's not done yet? How long is this thing? Are we going in a good two hours? We're already an hour and a half in. This is still good? Cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. Yo, Batman is on some next level, yo. Good point of entry. What the hell? Like, this guy is on some next level. Like, Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh, are you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. Okay, that was kind of a lame joke, but alright. Alright. <laughs> What's the difference between this and that? Oh. <laughs> Are you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. Uh, okay. <laughs> Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey, I'm always his alibi. Oh, what is that thing over there? Cameras. The entire floor is under surveillance. You'll be detected as soon as you enter. No time for subtlety. You got a whole party thing going on here, man. You make Patrons? 
yeah. No broken bones. Still healing from the last time, I bet. All it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my ass. I know you burned powder tonight. The whole city can smell it. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. A red rose after tonight. Ooh. Yo. I gotta get ready. Bat's trying to foreshadow me right now. Tell me to get ready to, to break here. bones. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Uh. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. I'm going in. Yet. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. Ooh, one time. Ooh. <laughs> Poor guy. B. Ooh, face. Oh man, this guy is not having a good day. <laughs> exactly what I said, yo. Those guys look very oddly familiar to each other. And you're gonna kill your own guys. That's so you know he doesn't care. You got no goddamn right to be here. You had no right disrespecting me in my own damn house. Ooh. Okay, I don't want to kill this guy. That's crazy. What's going on? Oh, EMP! Yeah. Yeah. You think that's gonna work? I'm gonna light up this whole guy! Woo! Get your goddamn hands off of my suit! Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid! Oh, no, 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 I ain't got time for this. No. This guy's packing all this heat? Explosives armed. Fire when ready. That's madness. That's crazy. Talk now, or you fall. You oh, damn. All right. All right. I don't know if I want to turn this guy into a murderer. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The White Rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? Yeah, something reeks about this whole thing. And it is a dead bat. Woo! Still 
don't want to play games. We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals you're so riled up about, they're mine, all right? We're all being played here? Okay, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to take him out. Trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Don't take him out. Don't take him out, Bat. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Arrest. Gotham. Or br brutalize. Fuck it, arrest. Spill it, Falcone, while you still can. <laughs> it's the Waynes. <laughs> They're behind all this. What do you mean? You want to save this city? Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> the Waynes? No. Bruce's family? Are gangsters? Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! This guy said the wings are the biggest gangsters in Gotham City. So what, his mom and dad had it coming? Is is that what they're talking about? Is that the reason why Deadpool went after them? Because they were, because they were the biggest gangsters. Because they had history. Because Deadpool did go after his parents. I'm pretty sure. He said in uh, heard uh, one crazy um, hardcore anime. I mean, comic fucking enthusiasts explain it. I just can't remember. I can't pinpoint things. Hundred percent. But Deadpool's the reason why his family's dead. Deadpool's been alive for a very long Fire time. Deadpool's obviously older than... Reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest and a stunning expose by Gazette reporter Vicky Vale, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, may be just as crooked as his parents. Wayne even refused to go on record when asked to defend his family's legacy. Damn, I made them all look bad. Our golden family are corrupt. Who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Alfred, no shit! Oh 
shit, yeah, Alfred's been there from time. That, this is the ending. That's where I knew it. Yep. That's where it ends. Realm of Shadows. That's crazy. Continue to next time on? Okay. Yeah, well, let's see what's next. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. That scoop you brought me on Falcone helped me more than you could possibly know. I owe you one. I'm sure Falcone's taken harder beatings in the past. Hopefully this one knocks something useful out of him. Hell of a view! Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. Oh, we're, we're teaming to... up at Catwoman. It's myself. Where the fuck was I that supposed to be? The truth. Are they gonna fall in love? Why do they look at each other like that? <laughs> Along with anyone who stands in my way. <laughs> 